Greetings everyone, welcome back to Corpse Party Book of Shadows. Today, uh, yeah, we are, we're back. It's been a while since I've played Corpse Party Book of Shadows. I just thought I'd get back into it. I want to position this in a way where I can actually still see my face. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I have a microphone now, so, uh, yeah. So I guess we should just click, uh, continue and load. Where did we leave off? Oh yeah, I, I forgot that I lost, uh, my recording for a, a for a chapter. So if we come over here, I completed purgatory. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, d I don't know what happened to my, well, actually, like, yeah, I lost my footage for it, so I don't have it. Um, it's really annoying, though. So, yeah, you know? So if I come over to my, uh, no, uh, all, oh, okay. I come over here, I got both endings. It was only two, so it was, like, one of the shortest ones. And it didn't really matter all that much, but, uh, yeah, it, it's still annoying that I lost it. By the way, let's... Let's let's move on forward to this one. We have three more chapters left. So let's see what this is about. Ooh, okay. Let me raise my volume real quick. Hold up. Okay, there we go. I deserve punishment for my actions. Morishige. <laughs> Each time I took a photograph with my phone. Its flash made the school walls shine a bright, heavenly white. <laughs> this was a place of solitude. Only she and I, not another soul to be found. I just can't stay away. Whoa! Okay, what was it to hide? X? That's, that's wild. Let me hide my webcam real quick. Yeah. Oh, is that Miss Yui? It's, I don't. It's, this top kind of reminds me of Miss Yui, but I don't know. Ugh. Okay, that's 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 not okay. G <laughs> I was acutely aware that the hand in which I held my cell phone had begun sweating. That's probably just a random dead body that's here. But Miss Yui's the only person I know that wore normal clothes whenever she went in here. Everyone else was wearing their school uniform. Well, Miss Yui wasn't wearing, really wearing a uniform, she, nor normal clothes, but yeah, whatever. And my breathing had become uncomfortably heavy. Yeah, this one here. And then switch this one, okay. <sighs> I was getting steadily, steadily more excited. And it was all because of her. Okay. A perfect flower, brightly adorning the wall with its myriad colors. Such was the departed female form spread before me. When I first encountered her, it took me several moments just to comprehend what I was seeing. I never beheld a person with such Gri grievous injuries before. I'm not even certain the word injuries would apply in a situation like this. What state of mind could cause someone to do this to another human being? It was certain this action had been wrought by human hands, largely because both her arms had been nailed to the wall in the co construction grade uh, linchpins, okay? Based solely on the dugout uh, abdomen, seemingly without the use of tools, the intestines lying on the floor, the smashed eyeballs, and the exposed jaw. One might think she'd been torn apart by wide, uh, wild animals. But the linchpins and, and the faint traces of bloody handprints here and there proved otherwise. <laughs> and yet, this bold, finely crafted display of her body shows a clear wa will and a fiery passion on the part of the orchestrator. 
The blood that splattered far and wide shone in my flash like a bright red flame, and whole chunks of flesh were sprawled about like flower petals. This flayed, eviscerated ev corpse with arms outstretched and nailed to the wall brought to mind images of Jesus nailed to the cross. But she was even um, purer than that. There was no self-sacrifice here, no lesson to be taught. Whoever did this clearly had fun with it. They enjoyed killing her. They enjoyed destroying her. I suppose there are animals who kill not for food, but for sport, leaving the carcasses of their prey behind. Of course, even intelligent animals like the lion, monkey, and dolphin can be subjected to occasional exclusionism and abuse within their ranks. <laughs> Yet only humans possess the capacity to turn their violent impulses into art. Can that truly be all there is to it though? Yeah, more Shige likes taking pictures of dead bodies. <laughs> My internal monologue has become a solid if only for a moment. What was it about this girl that fascinated me so? Witnessing the aftermath of a murder's actions. Uh, did provide a certain freeing sense of childlike helplessness, to be sure. By the way, um, or, but why had she, in particular, stricken my fancy? This whole school is like a veritable corpse party. He said the, he said the name of the game! <laughs> why, what? Why did it do that? I was like, he said the name of the game! I don't know why it peaked like that. Oh, whatever. Um... I've seen so many other bodies since I've arrived here, but none of her, n but none like hers. The moments I first laid eyes on her will stay with me always. Not just the sight, but the smell too. Hanging in the air like steam after a hot bath. Hold up, give me a second. Okay. <laughs> The moment I first laid eyes on her, oh, uh, will stay with me always. Okay, she was young, junior or senior high range or high age. Okay, so I guess she is not. Uh, actually, this might be freaking uh Mayu, you know Mayu, but nah, Mayu went splat, so it's can't be Mayu. <laughs> Mayu was just thrown against the wall. She wasn't like torn apart like this. <laughs> but that's about all I could determine. Her uniform was tattered and soaked through with blood, and there was no student ID name tag to be found. Shoot. Uh. The only reason I believed it to be sh to be a she, in fact, was due to the presence of a makeup bag and ornate uh, tortoise shell jewelry box. Dude, I can most obviously tell this is a woman. You, you don't even have to look at anything else. Just look at her. And you can clearly see that it's a woman. Like, dude. <laughs> I don't have the slightest clue who she may be. So why am I so drawn to her? Please tell me, who are you? The alarm on my cell phone sounds as if an answer. Oh dear. Is it already this late? A production of the Barber of Seville was airing on the MHK Educational Network this e that evening, and Mayu had asked me to record it for her. Uh, for, for her, okay. Being away from my TV at the at the time, I set a few reminder alarms on the phone to sound at regular intervals beforehand. Mayu was most renowned for her love of sweet and ex sweets and accessories and such and i often wondered if anyone else knew how much she enjoyed the work of R rosini okay i need to find mayu she's lost without me ah bright and beautiful mayu beloved by all who knew her 
I was the only one aware of the weakness that lay within her heart. Therefore, I was the only one who could truly protect her. Okay. Speaking of weakness, I wonder what's become of Mochida's little sister. I certainly enjoyed chasing her around earlier. Haha, <laughs> I gave her quite a fright. So this takes place after that, okay? But I'm gonna hide it again and just get this, you yeah, know? But this takes place after the part where uh, Morishige decides to chase Mayu for some odd reason. I'll raise my volume a bit more, okay. Turn it back on. There we go. I, okay. I adore watching her run for dear life. It was an act befitting a psychopathic pedophile. Okay, yet I am no such thing. Why then did I glean such joy from it? I simply found her frail, cowering, uh, con con uh to be irresistibly precious. Okay. I'll raise the volume a bit more. Okay. Uh, the sight of an overwhelmingly weak person standing before me, utterly helpless and alone, elated my very soul. The sensation was nearly organic, yet this was a friend's sister. For all the torment I'd caused, I certainly intended no harm. The, per uh, the perceived threat uh, I, res I, I represented just spawned such panic and horror within her that I couldn't help myself. Thinking back upon it still makes me smile. I swear, it feels like there's another me slowly and steadily awakening within. No, <laughs> this isn't right. This isn't who I am. Could it be that this nightmarish location? Okay, uh, is messing with my head. I don't know why, it, like, it, like, makes a noise whenever I click it. Like, I see on my, whenever I click the button, uh, I guess shaking, uh, touching the microphone just makes a, like, a, a loud noise or so, because my, my audio input, like, kind of, kind of went up a bit <laughs> whenever I, whenever I unmuted my microphone, whatever. No, this isn't right. This isn't who I am. Uh, okay. Indeed. This would do all that, or uh, whatever. If I were to return to the real world with Mayu and the others without first uh, discarding this new me, I would no longer be able to live the way I did before. <laughs> I suppose I'll need to erase all the pictures and movies I've stored in my phone, <sighs> including hers. Book of Shadows, Episode 5, Sh uh, Shangri-La. Okay. Um, Mitsuki. Who's that? Emmy, Toko, anybody at all? Is anybody there? Crap, my phone. Is it okay? Damn it, the strap broke. Nobody in here either. Where did everyone go? Hard to believe we just, uh, were just in the student, uh, hard to believe we were just in the student council room. I guess that Sajika charm is what did it, did us in, huh? This wasn't so, just some ordinary school building. Some fellow student council members and classmates and, and I all did this weird ritual and then I passed out. I thought maybe it was, uh, anemia or something. Okay, <laughs> um, when I woke up, I found myself in this, uh, thoroughly disturbing place, and my friends were nowhere to be found. At first, I thought maybe this was just Toko playing a prank on me, but I quickly realized that it went far beyond that. <laughs> I got angry, I screamed, I cowered in fear, and, and begged anyone who could hear me to stop doing this, but ultimately... I was just talking to air. 
this all felt like a bad dream. And I prayed in my heart of hearts <laughs> that 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 duh, that that's all it was. Because I knew I wouldn't be able to stand being in this horrible place all alone. I just wanted to see someone to be with to be with someone. I just wanted someone to call my name. I'm Mitsuki ya Yama um, Yama Yamamoto, an 11th grader at uh, Biu uh, <laughs> Byakudan Senior High School. I serve as clerk for the student council. I'm right here. Ever, ever I'm right here. Everyone, right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're searching. Uh, there are numerous in indoor used slip uh, slippers stowed in the cubbies. They appear much more old-fashioned than the ones commonly worn in modern elementary schools. Okay, what's this? A decaying human head has been forcibly cramped into the top left cubby. It mustn't have uh, been easy to make it fit, as there, are, as there are tiny pieces of flesh and scalp tissue all along the frame. Who would have done something like this? You know, when I saw my first body here, I couldn't stop throwing up. I think I'm starting to get, uh, desensitized. I just hope the others are okay. This- this might be the head to that other girl, right? You know, that- that girl, um, that was hanging that Morishige saw? Uh, okay, how do I open it? It was, a C? No, 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 it wasn't C. Uh, which button was it? Why not leave? I guess I have to interact with everything here. The door is frozen in place, as if it's just a decoration on the wall. It doesn't even rattle when I put when it, when pushed. <laughs> Damn it! The windows were the same way. What the hell is going on in here? I don't know. I'm not going to accomplish anything by uh, staying in one place. I need to keep looking for my friends. Okay. <laughs> um, where are we going now? Okay. Mitsuki! Ah, who, who was that? Who's there? It's me, Kurosaki! Kurosaki? Where are you? Okay. We were in the same hallway, but separated by a huge hole in the floor. Still, I finally found something. Uh, Kensuke Kurosaki, a classmate of mine from 2-4. After being alone in here all this time, finally a friend. I could barely contain my exuberance. Okay. Kurosaki, I'm so glad you're all right. You too. Uh, how are you holding up? You're not hurt or anything, right? No, I'm just fine. How about you? Uh, Kurosaki? Oh, uh, where are the others? I wish I knew. I only just woke up. And, and, am still trying to figure out how I got here. No kidding. Uh, we were all in the student council room, right? So, how come we're in a rundown school now? Did someone carry us here while we were unconscious? That's the only explanation I can think of. But I can't imagine anyone actually doing that. Yeah, they'd have to be pretty sick. What the heck? Um, but then, well, have you seen what's in here with us, Kurosaki? The dead bodies? Yeah. First time in my life I've ever seen the real deal. I was about ready to piss my pants when I realized what I was looking at. Yo, come on. Okay. I'm serious. This place is so not safe. We need to find Kizami. Uh, 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 Fukurio, uh, uh, Fukuroi, <laughs> and the others, and get the hell out of here. Kurosaki, uh, carefully inched closer to the hole in the corridor, bit by bit, uh, then took a good long look inside. You could leap right over that. Um, I'll bet. Um, uh, you could leap right over that. I'll bet. I mean, you're in the basket or you're in the baseball club, and you're good at sports, so something like this should be no problem. And there's no way I'd have to be a track star to clear that. Well, you'll never be one with that kind of attitude. <laughs> okay, man, you don't. You don't, min you don't mince words, do you? Wouldn't expect anything less of you, though. Anyway, I'm going to uh, go try to find some other way around. What? W wait! You stay there, Mitsuki. 
in case anyone else shows up while I'm gone. You don't need to be in such a you don't mean to be in such a hurry. Why don't we stay here for a little while longer? Or will 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 I will whatever, whatever. <laughs> don't leave me alone. I guess I can be kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. In class and in student council meetings alike, I'm always trying to take charge. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to be all docile and sweet like Emmy, if I want to be treated like a lady. Out of range, damn. Right. Oh, when I need. Uh, uh, right when I need it the most, too. Uh, the time displayed on my phone re read 2909. Well, that's certainly not right. Maybe it got messed up when I dropped it. Um. Maybe. <laughs> Damn, that's really loud. It's like going into the yellow. Okay. <laughs> uh, Kurosaki's taking an awful, awfully long time. I sure hope nothing happened to him. Hey, anybody there? Kurosaki? I'm here, over here. Kurosaki? Mitsuki? Is that you? Uh, Fukuroi? Uh, thank goodness I was looking all over for, y for you, Mitsuki. It was uh, Masato uh, Fukuroi, a classmate of mine, and the student council president. He always had a scowl on his face, and dug his heels into the ground on everything. But right now, his cold, uh, ob obstinance uh, was as welcome as could be. Fukuroi, I'm so glad you're alright. Wait, wasn't that exactly the same thing I said to Kurosaki? I really need to get some new material. I'm sorry, you caught me right as I was starting to panic. I mean, we're in this horrible place and Kurosaki wandered off. S slow down. This isn't like you, Mitsuki. Are you saying Ke uh, Kensuke is here too? Yeah, he was on the other side of that pit. And since he couldn't figure out how to cross, uh, how to cross it, he just ran off uh, to find an alternate way around. I see. Jumping the guns as always then. Have you found anyone else, Fukurai? What about uh, Toko? I'm afraid not. No uh, Okawa or Katayama either, and no Kizami. Well, Kizami is probably fine by himself. <laughs> you might be right. He's strong in body and strong of will. I, I doubt even a place like this could bring him down. At any rate, once we've reunited with uh, Kurosaki, we should- or that's me, okay. Uh, at any rate, once we've reunited with Kurosaki, we should make finding the others our first priority. Uh, maybe we should try to find an alternate route around this pit ourselves then. Is that really such a good idea? De <coughs> the heck? Is that really such a good idea though? Uh, what kind of. Uh, what if Kurosaki gets here after we've already left? Then he'll wait for us. And if we set about finding our own route, there's a good chance we'll run into him along the way. And we might happen upon the others too. Uh, you're right. We can't just stay around or we'll never get anywhere. And I have to admit, I am worried about Toko and the others. Yeah, okay. Me too. We have to confirm the safety of everyone from Byakudan as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> The door uh, to the art room is locked up tight. Okay. Uh, what the heck? Oh, okay. Um, where do I go? So where am I right now? Yeah, where, where am I? Uh, I'm right here. Okay. So I can't go there. I have to go around, I think. How do I, how do I go around? So, uh, it doesn't show this. Um, why does it? Uh, this is the reference room, and then the art room. Oh. Floor are we on? I don't remember this floor. Hold up. Um, huh. This is weird. So this is the art room. What's in the art room? How do we- We've never- Oh! We're in this- We're in the second wing. I was like, what? Okay, so then there's- There's no way to get over there, though. Maybe. There's a staircase over there, so we gotta go to that staircase, maybe. Or from another floor. Okay. 
Um, now let's open the map. Okay, there's the music room, the staff room. Okay. Let's come over to this one and see what's over here. Because, you know, uh, the... The... It might take me to... Like, it'll take me to this area, right? And then I'll be able to go to the other staircase, I think? If I remember the layout correctly, I don't... Yeah, I don't really remember the layout of this room. Of this, uh, section. <laughs> I gotta still continue building Quartz Party in Minecraft. It's kind of a pain, though. Oh, over here. Okay. I'm already over here. But <laughs> Let's, uh, come over here. Because I'm, I'm already on the other side. That was... That was pretty easy to get over here. Yeah. Um... Let's see. Okay. Uh, um, let's see. Can I go? On? No, I can't. Okay. Um, let's go to the reference room, maybe. You know, it might be in here. You never know. The door and window alike are frozen in place, as if they're just decorations on the wall. Nothing even rattles when pushed. Um, okay. The windows are pretty broken, though. So, uh, okay, I guess I can't. There's an invisible barrier in the windows. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what's over here, though. Uh, in the girls' room. The girls' bathroom entrance is covered in protective charms and seems to be shut up tight. Uh, yeah, okay. The atmosphere feels heavier here than it does anywhere else. And the door is covered in protective charms. It seems to be shut up tight. It's not even locked. It just won't open. Uh, Shinto seals. I don't like the look of that. It's, uh, it's no more discouraging than anything else in this godforsaken building, really. Well, it's not like we can get in there to, uh, to really, uh, to investigate anyway. So, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. Now where do we go? So I've looked up there. <laughs> so I guess I'll go back down and see if he's down here, maybe? Okay. Maybe the restroom? Let's check the boys' restroom. Okay. He might be down here. You never know. I don't, like, why does- hold up, hold up. I need to test something. Okay, I now mastered the art of muting without making noise. So I just quit. I just uh, do this like slowly. What? There we go. Okay, it's it's more of a sensor, not really touch, because I didn't really touch it that time. Okay, um, but yeah. The boys' room entrance is completely boarded up. Uh, there's no way to get inside right now. Uh, yeah. But there's a ghost. Do you know what lies be- <clears throat> Hold up. <clears throat> Do you know what lies beneath this school? It's a mire of agony and torment. That can drive a man to madness with a single touch. Okay. <laughs> Dead body now. It's a thoroughly decomposed corpse. Based on size and uniform, it looks to be the body of a male junior or senior high student. Yeah. <laughs> There's a student ID name tag on his blazer. Uh, Ryu Ben's Academy, Senior High School, Koichi uh, Kanasada. Okay. Yeah. Let's come over here. The boys' room entrance is completely boarded up. There's no way to get inside right now. Okay, well, I can't get inside there. Let's head to the exit. And see if I can exit. <laughs> oh, the exit is where I was at earlier. Okay. Okay. There's nothing really here. Uh, over here. Being alone is scary. But being with someone else is even scarier. Stay alert. Don't let your guard down. Okay, important messages. Let's go to the staff room now. Because the staff room might be important. I have no idea though. 
Uh, the door to the staff room is locked up tight. Yeah. Okay. A another dead body. Dead body? Uh, there's a corpse here uh, that almost seems to be resting against the wall. Or perhaps it was propped up uh, post-mortem. It looks to be the remains of a male senior high school student. His wrists and ankles are bound with wire. And there also appears to be a copious amount of wire around his neck. His name tag reads... Uh, Kurashiki Industrial High School, uh, Masaru uh, Nijin, uh, Nijino, okay. Another spirit. It, is that a ghost? Like, for real? Crap, this isn't good. My legs are shaking. You're still alive, aren't you? If you don't want that to change anytime soon, then take my advice. Trust no one. Not a single person. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trust no one. Got it. Let's go to the music room. Let's go to the music room and check it out. Because why not? <laughs> okay. The first thing I noticed when entering the room were a stack of candles and a box of matches right in front of my eyes. Okay. Had someone left these behind? Uh, these look fine as long as they're not uh, too damp. They should still be perfectly usable. Okay. Uh, come on, flame. Flame, got fire. I struck one of the matches along the side of the box and a small red flame flickered into being. Cool. Uh, I propped up one of the loose candles and placed the burning match head against its wick. Uh, it may not be much, um, but hopefully it's uh, if someone comes into this room and sees this candle, they'll know there are others, uh, other living beings in here with them. I decided it would be best to take uh, the remaining candles and the box of matches with us just in case we need them. Okay, good. We got some candles and matches. Good. Um, now what? There's a row of awards and plaques. Uh, on one of them, the shelf, uh, on one of the shelves here. Among them sits a small rectangle, uh, rectangular box. What could this be? I'll save. Because you never know. Any choice, I gotta save. I'll take the box. The cabinet glass door is locked. Uh, what could this be? Take out the box? Oh, okay. Well, I can't do that. Um, leave it alone. Okay. Um, piano. Uh, Fukuroi. Look, there's something in there. Something small was firmly jammed between two of the keys and the piano. Okay. It seems to have been wedged in with a tremendous force, making it impossible to move either of the surrounding keys. Yeah, there's definitely something there, but I don't think we'll be getting it out anytime soon. We need something we could fit in that tiny space between the key in order to pop out, pop it out. Okay, so we need to find an item. This? The seal must be undone. Or, the seal must be undone. This tragedy must not be allowed to spread any further. Okay, or any farther. Not further. Further is a different word. Ooh, dead body. <laughs> it's a comparatively fresh corpse. Based on size and uniform, it looks to be the body of a female junior high school student. Her throat seems to have been torn out, resulting in copious amounts of blood, not only on her uniform, but pulled along the floor as well. Her mouth, too, is hanging agape. And she has no tongue. What was used to cut her apart like this? Her student ID is bloody but still legible. Koyo Girls Academy Middle School. Uh, Haruna uh, Har Harukaze. Okay, but there's an item right there. A memo pad, presumably belonging to the deceased girl, is lying on the ground near her body. It looks like she was using it to uh, chronologic, uh, or chronicle her experience here in the school building. The letters are written in pink ink and are easily legible. I did the Sachiko ritual, uh, 
Uh, oh, hold up. I did the Sachiko ritual. Actually, no, I can just move the, the, the microphone up. I did the Sachiko ritual with Nozomi and the others. And then all of a sudden, I was out like a light. When I came to, I was here, surrounded by corpses. I can't even say how many times I vomited. I want to go home. We three have to stick together. If we don't, I think we're as good as dead. Like that high school student we met yesterday. There's nothing left to eat in here. I think we've been here a week now, but it's hard to say for sure. I really want to take a bath and brush my teeth too. The three of us talked it over and decided to eat that dead body. It was tough and bloody and felt the taste so, so wrong. Or felt and tasted so strong. Rene uh, soldiered through, but Nozomi threw it up. He came again. Nozomi was injured. Now she'll get in our way. Rene was crying, but I'm just hungry. Nozomi's not coming. I think she's been killed already. Oh well. If Rene comes, I know what I have to do. Okay. That was, um, something. Oh. Hold up. Okay, so that does... <laughs> that does, like, do my audio thing. Whenever I hit my desk. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. Whatever. Um... It's one of the candles we found in this room. Okay, yep. Did I do everything in this room? There's... It's still there. Okay. Um... Ah, uh, so, yeah. Nothing new. Nothing new. It's still like... It's still like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll just skip past all of that. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, let me try this again. I'll take out the box. The cabinet glass door is locked. Of, of course. Okay. What else is here, though? Let's go back over here and then maybe go to another room. Maybe there's another room up here. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, yeah, no, there's only the art room, but I can't go there. Where do I go? What do I do? Because I can't go in any of the rooms. Maybe I have to burn something, actually. Hold up. Uh, I will come to the boys' restroom, maybe? Maybe I can burn that down somehow? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to be setting fire to, uh, to a random school. Uh-huh. Okay, let's do this. Uh, can I burn it down? No, no I can't burn it down. The spirit does nothing. Okay. Let's head back up and maybe there's something up here. Maybe? I don't know. Isn't this supposed to be another staircase that leads out to the principal's office? Where's that one at, huh? Where's that one at? We come to the girl's room. Maybe I can burn that down. I don't know. What do I do? No, I can't burn it. Okay. Maybe I burn the reference room. I don't know. Uh, maybe pulling the box did something. I don't know. <laughs> um, there's a bucket. It looks to be a bucket, probably used by the custodian for mopping the floors. There's nothing inside. God damn it. Yeah, okay. I can't do anything up here. Um, maybe I just walk down the hallways one by one, maybe? Let's try that. Um, maybe I'll see something. So nothing's there. I already went to that one. Come to... Bro, bro, what are you doing? Dude, stop it, stop it! What's this one? God damn it. Okay. Anyone over here? Or anything? Yep, 
a dead body. Okay. It's a comparatively fresh corpse. Based on the size of the uniform, it looks to be the body of a female junior high school student. The expression on her face is almost joyous. Um, the fortunate, and fortunately her student ID is clearly legible. Hoyo Girls Academy Middle School. Okay. There's an item though. There is a piece of scrap paper on the floor near the body. It seems to have been torn out of a larger memo pad. Several lines are written on it with pink ink. Oh, okay. We left a note for Nozumi, telling her to come to the staff room. There's no turning back now, but I shouldn't feel sorry for her. Without food, all three of us will die. And Nozumi is uh, injured, so she's, she's uh, so she'd never be able to get away from that man. Okay. Down. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. There's nothing else here though, so I guess we'll just head uh, along the hallway then and see if there's anything else, because we got um some memo pad stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, don't close that. Open this. Okay. Anything? Oh, okay. There is more stuff. <laughs> it's a thoroughly decomposed corpse. Looks to be a male junior high school student. Except he's got no head. His name tab tag reads uh, Kurashishiki. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, industrial high school. Uh, Akira. Okay, yeah. There's an uh, evil spirit. I'll pick this up first. It looks to be the key from an old fashioned wind up toy. Old wind up key. But what does it wind up? It looks like it's about the right size for a toy, but in this place, you never really know. We might as well take it with us. Then we may come across whatever it attached to at some point. Yeah, I think I know where it's at though. I think I can open that glass thing. Okay. Somebody stole my head. Give it back. Maybe I can be of some help to you, if you do. Wh what should we do? Uh, good question. I never did believe in the paranormal before, but after everything we've seen in here, I don't think I can be skeptical any longer. I know where the head is at, though. <sighs> That's not what I mean. I'm asking if we should help this person with his problem or not. What do we do? We need to find our friends, but this poor soul um, has it a lot worse than we do. I'll save. I'll save. I will save here. And uh, maybe I'll get an ending if I click don't help him? No, we're just students. As much as I'd like to help him, I really don't think there uh, there's anything we can do. But Mitsuki... We can't. We don't even know what's going to happen to us in here. We just can't. I guess you're right. We should focus on our and we should focus our energy on finding Kensuke and the others. I'm sorry. I don't think there's anything we can do for you right now. Once we get out of here, though, we'll send the police. So just sit tight until then. Wait, please. If you find my head, I swear I'll return the favor. Okay, I'm going to save here because I kind of want to save this guy. So I'll, I'll save there and then load the previous save. Load this one. Yes. Okay. And now, oh, I got to move this back. Oh, like that. Okay. Let's help him. Well, he does seem to be in quite a bind. If we can do something for him, I see no reason we shouldn't. Yeah, I agree. Maybe if we do, he'll help us find a way out of here. Okay, yep, let's do it. I thought I uh, okay, so let's go and find his head. Which I already know where his head's at, so... Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's easy peasy. <laughs> so let's go find his head first. 
Let's find his head first, and then we'll try out the key. Come to the exit, because that's where his head's at. Unless his head just magically moved, then that wouldn't be good. <laughs> okay, his head's still up there. Uh, it, right there. A decomposed human cranium occupies. Okay, uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, looks like, uh, looks like about the right age, but, uh. Are you alright, Mitsuki? Simply standing in the presence of this severed head was turning my stomach. The foul stench of decay was absolutely overpowering. Even in this low light, I could easily see maggots crawling through his eye sockets. His nose and mouth all over his skin, they were everywhere. I can't handle the smell. Yeah. Uh, it does... It does seem like he, he's been dead for quite some time. Uh, are you... Are we really going to carry this back to that uh, spirit? Like, with our hands? I think I'd prefer not to do that. Uh, let's see if we can find something to put it in. The bucket! The bucket! Okay, let's go back up. Because there's a bucket up there. So we just gotta go to the bucket pick up the bucket, take the bucket to the head, and put the head in the bucket, and we can carry the head in the bucket. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, it's not the head, it's not the bucket on the head, it's the head in the bucket. Yes. A bucket. Bucket. Yeah, a bucket. Okay. Uh, is the bucket? Yep, there it is, the bucket. Uh, pick up the bucket. Uh, this might work, don't you think? Take the bucket. Okay, got the bucket. <laughs> now let's head back down. Yes, this this takes so long because we walk through every single hallway on, on there, so, so yeah. Also, as quick, quickly, if, if, if there are people who are watching this far, then, so there's, uh, Videos that are being posted after this one that I will not have the microphone because I made them before I got this because I just got this today. <laughs> so yeah, there are videos that are being po that are going to be posted after this video that are, you know, uh, microphoneless. So yeah, just uh, keep an eye out for that. But let's see, uh, where was it again? It was uh, oh yeah, the bucket was at the exit. So let's come up to pick up this head with the bucket, take the head back to Mr. Ghost Guy. <laughs> so let's get the head. Okay. Uh, check it out. Look, there's something in there. I'll save. I'll save. Save. Right there. Okay. Let's check it out. I can definitely see something in his mouth. But I don't think I, I, I don't, or I don't think I can, you know. Allow me. Uh, definitely not a fan of maggots crawling all over me. Fukuro dug ar around inside the mouth of the severed head for a few moments, then finally withdrew his hand. He was gripping something tightly between his now foul-smelling discolored and dully glistening fingers. Here, or here, I've got tissues. Oh, thank you, it seems to be a key of some sort. Okay. After uh, thoroughly wiping off all the maggots and bits of rotten flesh, the item Fukuro uh, proceeded uh, from the head took on that classic look of an old copper key. Okay, we got a copper key. But I still need to grab the head. Uh, yep. Are you alright, Mitsuki? Simply standing in the presence, yep. I can't handle the smell. Uh, okay. So all this is the same. How about we try using that bucket? Let's try it. Yep. It looks like it'll fit. Yeah. I'll do the honors. You hold the bucket, okay? Okay, thank you, Fukuro. Or Fukuroi. No problem. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's just gross. Uh, Fukuroi uses his hands to dig the head out of its cubbyhole and plop it inside into the bucket. 
The maggot, sensing that something was amiss, suddenly began pouring out of its various sockets and climbing all over the new rusted metal home. Here, I've still got some tissues left. Thanks, I really hope I never have to feel anything like that again. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> Gross. We, we found it. It's your head, I think. Please, take it. Uh -huh. or... uh, my beautiful head. My beautiful face has become so rotten. Okay. Damn those maggots. I'm... I'm so ugly now. I, I can... I can sympathize there. I can sympathize. There are many others who've been killed here just like you. Oh, well, we're going to need to get in contact with the police and have whoever did this arrested. Are you pitying me? Do you feel sorry for me? N no, that wasn't my intention. I apologize. If I've offended you... No. You think I'm wretched. You think I'm ugly and dirty. You don't even want to touch my body again. Isn't that right? Uh, Fukurai, I don't like where this is going. I agree. I think we need to distance ourselves from this place. It's because you're still alive. That's why you turn your nose at us dead people. Arrogant creatures. Why don't you come and join us? Yeah! I'm going to hand you over to the others. And they're scary. They're excruciatingly frightening. Where? Fukurai! Fukurai, where are you? Maybe he passed out somewhere. Ah, uh, I know. I'll try lighting a candle. Okay. Move it down slowly. Okay. Um, I don't think that would have happened if I, you know, didn't freaking. Oh, shoot. Uh, if I didn't do the do the thing, like like get his head, but yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. My surroundings were far different than I'd expected. I seemed to be in some sort of dirty hallway, underground. There was a chill in the air, both literally and figuratively. The smell that wafted about was both musty and gloomy somehow. Fugroy, Fugroy, wake up! Where? Somewhere underground now, and it feels really dangerous. Come on, wake up, damn it! Fukuroi? His eyes were wide open, but he gave no response. Looking a bit closer, I noticed that his neck had been severely twisted. He was staring right at me, but his body was facing the other direction, and his half agape jaw was completely motionless. He wasn't breathing. No, no, this can't be happening! Come on! It's not funny! And then there were footsteps. Pretty sure this is a bad ending. There is a lot of bad endings in this chapter, so. Somebody's coming. What do I do? Oh, I'll, I'll save. Save. And I'll wait here. Ah, uh, it's a person. Maybe it's Kurosaki, Toko, or one of the others. Over here. I'm over here. Hurry! There's been an accident! The footsteps drew, drew, drew closer and closer, and then finally the figure making them came into view. <sighs> Sorry, I thought you were, uh, I'm from Byakudan High School, grade 11. What the hell is wrong with me? Why am I introducing myself? This is clearly not someone in his right mind. My name is Mitsuki Yam Yamamoto, and, uh... Uh, my friend here has been gravely injured. He's got the 
axe or something or he's got an axe or something and he's covered in blood he's he's probably the guy who did this to fukurai we just kind of woke up in here and uh we didn't know where we were and we saw um bodies all around us and run you dolt run run mitsuki will you help me <laughs> yep, we got a bad ending! Yay, we got the wrong end! Uh, okay. That happened. Wrong end one. Yep. At least in the first course party, it actually tells you what you did to get the wrong ending or so, or what happened in the wrong ending. This one just says wrong end, and then you come over to here, and it doesn't really give you any information about the wrong ending. It just shows the endings list. Oh, which there's a lot. So this chapter is going to be a long one, I, I guess. Uh, so yeah, guys. I'm going to end the video here. Let me... Uh, yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like. And of course, subscribe. And yeah. Uh, like I said, I have a, I have a new microphone. I... I can move it around because I, I have like an arm and stuff. I also have a new uh, stand to hold my phone. So I can move this around like this. Hold up. Let me uh, let me stand up real quick. I can do this now. So yeah. Um, kind of. I, uh, I could have always stood up. But hold up. I'm going to kneel on my chair just so I'm not as tall, I guess. So, like this, maybe? I don't know. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm... I can stand up. I'm going to move this a bit to the side like that, I guess. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and, of course, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out and bye-bye.